existential therapy actually is a really diverse approach to therapy. Now, if you look at any of the approaches to therapy, whether it's psychodynamic or person-centered or CBT, they're actually a really diverse field with lots and lots of different approaches within them. Cognitive behavioral therapy isn't one thing. It's lots of different approaches. And sometimes the arguments and the differences are as big between the therapies within one school as they are between the different schools. And the existential approach is, 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 is particularly diverse. So one of the reasons that it's really diverse is that when you look at a school like psychoanalytic, you had Freud, uh, Gestalt therapy had pearls. There's no one in the existential therapy field that kind of founded it. It doesn't have one person who started the whole thing off. So that makes it diverse. And the other thing about existential therapy, as we'll see, is that a lot of the focus is on kind of individuality, uniqueness, about not conforming, about being different. So of course, the different existential therapists have developed very different existential therapies. Some were developed in uh, the States in the, in the 50s and 60s. A lot of them were developed in Europe uh, from the 20s onwards, and I'll go on to talk about some of these uh, different approaches. So as Joel Norcross says, Existential therapy means something to everyone, yet what it means precisely varies within, with each exponent. We did a review recently about um, what, whether existential therapy was effective or not on average. And one of the things that we needed to do when we did that, if you do a kind of systematic review where you're looking at the effectiveness of a, a, an approach or any other question, is you have to define uh, what it is that you're looking at. So we define existential therapies, we sent a lot, I mean, you won't believe how much time it took to come up with that sentence. It looks pretty straightforward, but it took months and months. But good way of thinking about the existential therapies is that they're based on the ideas and the philosophy of existential philosophers, which was a philosophical movement around the kind of, had a peak around the kind of middle of the 20th, 19th century, and again in the, in the 30s and 40s in the 20th uh, century. So, if we want to understand existential therapies, the first thing that we need to do is to go back and understand what is existential philosophy. What is this kind of existential school of thought? 